All right, sweet. Let's go. This is awesome. I'm super hyped right now. We have George Mirison here, the legend, tallest player in NBA history, but also the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, George, how are we doing, man? Doing fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a crazy time, right? I mean, this quarantine and all that. Where, where are you at right now? I am in Florida right now. Oh, okay, awesome. On the West Coast oh, at okay. this moment. Oh, sweet. So nice weather right now? or Very nice, yes. Enjoy yeah. it. Hey, that's always good, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, George, maybe talk to us about how you uh, grew passion for the game of basketball. Uh, you know what? I think my, my passion was more for the competition of basketball. Mm. I, lo I love to compete. Mm. That was one, one of my, uh, my, my energy, my passion, yeah. the competition. Uh, at the same time, I feel very comfortable in the, in the basketball court and uh, was the basketball players too. Mm. And to be comfor comfortable, uh, comfortable was the players. I love the competition. This drive me, drive me more... Uh, to work harder and uh, to get better. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. So when did you when did you start playing? Oh, I was uh, 15 years old. I just turned 15 years when I started to play. Wow, that's crazy. How tall were you at 15? Yeah, I was uh, tall enough. That was yeah. back in uh, 1986, was in Romania. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome, man. That's great. Yeah, so... Uh, I guess I started playing basketball by mistake because I was tall. Uh, and I continued to play. And uh, the more I play, the uh, more I love the competition. And the more I love the competition, the harder I work. Mm, yeah, no, that's, that's great, man. Yeah, um, did, well, wait a second. Uh, yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, All right. Sorry. No, no, you're, you're good. You're good. Um, yeah. So, uh, what what was um you know was that a tough transition from playing in Romania to the NBA? You know, do you remember going through that process with like you know scouts or you know was that a tough adjustment for you to make that decision to enter the NBA draft? Or so, uh, so uh, uh, I left Romania in 1992. I played in France for. Uh, for a year, so after I played in France, I coming in 93, I coming in NBA, uh, when I was drafted by Washington Bullets at that time. Right now, they're Washington Wizards. Uh, uh, so all the scouts, they see me, they see me when I play in France. And a uh, year before, after that, uh, there was 1991, I play in a world champions uh, under 20, in Edmonton, in Edmonton Canada. Mm. Our well, uh, Romanian team was, uh, I think, we come in the fifth place in that time. And I have very good games. I was one of the leading scorers on the tournament there. Wow, that's awesome. That's great. So, so I was like maybe top five, top, top ten in the leading score. Right, yeah. On the, on the tournament. So, I, uh, so the scouts, they see me in their tournament. And uh, Edmonton, Canada, and uh, after that, the Stimi play in France. Uh, when I, uh, we play in the Europe Cup, and uh, I play against Sabonis a couple of times. And they mm. come into Sabonis, they see me. I play against Tony Kukoc, who was in the same time everybody was scouting him. Uh, a lot of good European players, so yeah. they come in to see them and they see me. Yeah, no, that's that's an awesome story, man, and it worked out great for you, right? So I love it, yes. Yeah, so was that was that a tough decision for you to make that move to the NBA, or or did you was that always your goal? It was never my goal. Uh, never I have a dream to play in the NBA, but uh, after I got drafted by Washington Wizards, I. Uh, I, I started to think more about NBA and I was uh, exciting and happy I got the drop by NBA. And, uh, you know, uh, in life, everything is easy while you love it. Right, yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, because I love basketball so much, and so I love the competition. I, I, for me, it was easy to decide to, to, to come here to, to, to Washington to, to, to play for the Washington Wizards. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bullet in their time. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, I mean, you, uh, you get drafted, um, you know, second round, 30th overall. What was, um, you know, the reaction from your, you know, uh, friends and family? Uh, you know, what, what was, what, you know, what, what, we were, what was that moment like when you got drafted? Uh, for me, I was, I was very happy. And uh, my family, they was, uh, my friends, they was a little bit like, uh, oh, I cannot believe you really got drafted. And uh, yeah. at the same time, nobody believed I will be coming to play in NBA. Right, yeah. For me, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's awesome, man. So, did you, you know, because you got drafted by the Bullets, um, you know, did Manute Ball reach out to you at that time? Or no? Like, you know, because he was another, um, you know. You know. Uh, uh, Manute Ball was not in the Washington Wizards, uh, Bullets in that time. Uh, but uh, during the summer, when I come into the team, uh, we was uh, trained to the, together in, uh, in Bowie State University was, uh, was the team. And he was in town and uh, he was not on the team, but he was in town and we, we was practiced all summer together. Mm, yeah, and, uh, maybe uh, describe that summer, right? Was it like tough training, right? Like were you really trying to... Oh man, it was, uh, was, uh, was a challenge. It was extremely different than what I used to do. And um, at the same time, I love it. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, uh, I think the worst one was the, the training camp. We have the training camp in, uh, in West Virginia at uh, Shepherdstown University. And uh, that was the toughest, toughest practice I ever had in my life. <laughs> but uh, I think at the same time, if I looking back, that was the best one because uh, it got me in very good shape for, for the NBA. Yeah, yeah. So, who do you remember playing with other than Manute during that time? You know, in training or during that summer? You uh... Uh, wait a second. You you break it up. Oh uh, no, it's all good. Uh, let me see if I connect on the Wi-Fi. Hmm? Hold on here. Ooh. technical difficulties here. Okay, sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, yeah, no. So that's that's crazy, man. So, um, yeah. What? So, do you remember who you were? You know, who else you were practicing with during that time? You know, to prepare yourself for the NBA. Did anyone else? You know, I know Manute wasn't on the team at that time, but you know, he's. Uh, Kevin Duckworth was. Uh, he was the, the the starting five center on the team. Uh, Tommy Gugliotta was in there. Tommy Gugliotta was the star of the team. Next champion, Brad Price, Doug Alberto, Mitchell Butler, Calvert Chaney was on the team at this time. Uh, they was young and very nice guys. Uh, Kevin yeah. Duckworth was an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable teammate. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome, man. So is it, is it true that um, both, like both your parents were 5'7 and 5'9? Is that – I saw <laughs> – Video you, you watch that off. Oh, uh, is it true that your parents are both five seven and five nine respectively? Uh, I make that up. You make that? Up. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it, man. I get. It. <laughs> I just saw the video. I was like, no way. That's crazy. That's insane. I make that up. I make that up. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how bad it was. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> hey, that's that's hey. It's always a great story, man. It's a, they, hey, they. Yes. They need to make your own documentary too. They should make a documentary about you instead of MJ, right? <laughs> oh, maybe one day, yes. Yeah, 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 for sure. Have you been watching the MJ documentary or? Yes. Yeah. Well, what are uh, what are your thoughts on it so far? Is there anything? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, for the basketball fans. It's great. It's the the best documentary you can uh, you you can have right now in this period for uh, for the basketball fans. Yeah. I, I was in the team. I, I was an NBA in that time. I, lo I know a lot of stuff. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff is not new for me. What what I say, well, what I see right now. But uh, for the fans, is the best. Uh, is the best can happen right now. Yeah, no, for sure. So um, congratulations for who's, who was in charge to do this one. They they do very very good job. It's uh, it's unbelievable. 
Yeah, no. So, um, yeah, because you, you, like you said, like you played against, you know, MJ and the Bulls, you know, quite a bunch, right? So, um, yes. So is there any? I lived this experience in that time. It was a good experience. And again, love to play basketball, love to compete. For me, that was all about to compete. Right, yeah. So what was that like? Like, do you remember, like, in the locker room, you're like, oh, my God, like, I'm playing against MJ. Um, you know, I know you and, like. No, no, I don't say, oh, my God. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, uh, I was preparing myself, like, every another game. And, but I know MJ is very dangerous players. I know MJ is, uh, is very hard to guard. I know he can go to the basket extremely fast. I know he can jump extremely high. It's very explosive. And I know he's very extremely talented. Yeah. And at the same time, I know it's uh, for my teammates, it's very hard to guard him. And I have to be worried all the time to, to be in the help position. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, because um, do you remember any conversations you had with him during the game or no? Did you guys get into it or? Uh, no, no, no. He was, uh, he was uh, extremely focused. When he played, he was most of the time focused on. Mm, yeah. So um... but he was a great player. He was an uh, extremely hard worker. Uh, good leader and great player. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because um, yeah, because I, I also saw a video of like you and Dennis Rodman, right? Um, do you do you guys remember you know playing against him? What, what was that like? Yeah, it was part of the game. Uh, he tried to win. I tried to win. <laughs> uh, Dennis Rodman was uh, was a great defender. Was an unbelievable defender and great. Uh, great rebounder. He was extremely athletic, extremely fast, and um, a very hard worker in the game. So, yeah. what he tried to do, he tried to do his best to win the game. And I tried to do my best to win the game too. So, uh, he was guarding me a couple of times. I was guarding him a couple of times. And uh, all the time I was worried about him to go to get the rebounds. But yeah, at the yeah. same time, I want to make sure I score on him and I, uh, I take him out of the game. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Because there's, there's that one game you had against the Bulls where you had like 27 points, 11 rebounds, four blocks. I mean, you were dominating, right? So, you know, that was – do you remember any of the conversations you had, you know, playing against Robin? I mean, especially when you had games like that. Was there smack, smack talking or – Hey, look, I know, uh, I know Rob, Rodman was, uh, <laughs> he was not dangerous on the offense, but the defense do a very good job and it's extremely dangerous on the boards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, abs absolutely. So yeah. I know that one. And at the same time, uh, I know he, he may be shot the layups and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. But at the same time, they know to use it very well on the court. Maybe we have a we have talked. Maybe not. That is not that important, I know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do you uh, remember like the last? There are none other things. Whatever I remember, I just want to remember the nicest things in the world for everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, have you reached out to him or MJ or any one of your teammates recently? You know, during this time, you know, have you talked to anyone? In the NBA that you played with, or I talk sometimes with some of the players. Uh, most of the times, when uh, we have an All Star game, most of the I see most of the players there when I go to the All Star game. At the same time, I uh, we have a retired player association meeting. I see them in the meetings. Mm. Uh, we have a lot of uh, a big community in DMV around Washington DC. Right. NBA players, I see them a lot, a lot. But this time, everybody's busy with their own stuff. Yeah, no, I get it, man. It's, it's a crazy time right now. So, I just, you know what? We have to adjust. It's, it's nothing crazy. Mm. The most important is how you adjust with everything. We have, we have to be available to adjust with everything. It's that, that is the most important. It's how you adjust. It's not anything else. Right, yeah, no, I totally agree. Totally agree. So have you been back in Washington? Since have you talked? Have you visited or helped out? Reached out to the team, you know, or uh... I, I'm a, I live in Washington. I live in Washington. I hear I'm visiting right here in Florida, but I live in Washington. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah. So oh, okay, so Washington State, right? Yeah. You hear me? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah. Little bit of I live in Washington, D.C., Florida. I'm just visiting right now. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I see. I see. I understand. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, what an awesome career, man. I mean, so many awesome, awesome things going on there. Um, you know, do you have a favorite memory within your career? Oh, sorry, I think you heard me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Sweet. There you go. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I heard you now too. Uh, I was going to say, what was your favorite memory in the NBA? You know, fate, was there a moment in the end in your career that you, you know, that you never forget? My favorite time in the NBA was all the time when I get to prepare for the game and when I walk from the from the locker room to the to the court. That was one of my favorite time. Another favorite time I have I had that energy to get prepared for the game and get ready for the game. Yeah. Uh, another thing is uh, the, the, the travel. When I go to and I when we travel for the games, I love that time too. And I miss that time too. The travel team camaraderie, working with the team. Yeah, no, absolutely. That is the one I, I, I love it and maybe I miss it there the most. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, um, you no, know, there's some, so have you reached out? So I'm a Celtics fan actually. Um, and, uh, Taco Fall is, a uh, is one of my favorite players. Have you reached out to him? You know, cause he's a pretty big guy too, right? Yes. I see him, uh, I see him, uh, a couple months ago when uh, I see him in, uh, in, um, uh, the All Star Game at Chicago in uh, February. When was mm. the All Star Game there? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I hope he's gonna he's gonna be a very successful center, and I hope we gonna take the game back under the hoop. Yeah. And I wish him gonna I wish him gonna be a star player. Yeah. Absolutely. All the potential. Yeah. He's very talented. Very smart. Uh, he have a very good, a good accurate on the basketball hoop, so I, I hope he's gonna he gonna get more minutes time and he gonna do much damage under the hoop. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, you know, off the court as well, like you were an icon too. Uh, you know, I saw your video with David Letterman. Um, you know, when you guys were changing the jackets. Uh, Man, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, maybe do you remember? I mean, talk about that. You know, going on the show for that. I was pretty nervous. I was uh, very, very uncomfortable. First of all, I was very nervous because uh, I, at that time I don't control very well the English language. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was one of the reasons. And second of all, being the dead, dead limit let me so that, that it's made me uh, a little bit uh, nervous too. Yeah. So, um, you know, did you... Did you know what he was gonna what questions he was gonna ask, you know, going into the show or no? I have no idea about the question question, no. No. Wow, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, no, because that was fun. Well, you know what? It's not crazy, it's part of the life, I guess. Uh, again, I go on the show, I have no idea what we're gonna do that right there. But I I think about I have to adjust, whichever gonna be, I have to adjust. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So cause he, yeah, because you were on the show, um, because he was asking about um the movie you were in, right? The my, yes. my, yeah, we talk about the movie My Giant, yes. Yeah. So was that so was that um was that filming the movie like a hard balance for you while you were playing in the NBA? You know, was that tough? Uh it was not, not tough at all because we was filming the movie in the summer and in the summer we don't have a, uh, we don't have a team practice. Mm. Yeah, but it, like keeping in shape, was that tough or uh, I have a, I have a two trainers, so I was practice every morning and I was practice every afternoon. Oh, wow. so, so in the morning I do I do I do practice with a trainer when I work on the on the on the power and speed and agility. In the afternoon I work on basketball. Mm. So uh, I was in the gym every day, maybe more because I was more organized. And maybe I was more than uh, than if I was uh, in Washington. Mm. Yeah, no, for sure. Do you, do you remember uh, the phone call, like when they asked you to be in the movie? <laughs> what was their reaction from you and your teammates? It was not the fault. Uh, was not the fault call. Uh, it was like uh, I got the message from Bill Clinton. Uh, Bill, uh, Bill. Uh, Crystal. Crystal. 
I get the message for Billy Crystal when I go to Los Angeles to get uh, if I can have a lunch with him. Mm. So, so, he, so during the lunch, during the lunch, tell me about the the the, the script. But so what was was uh, yeah. I was excited at the same time, nervous about time and everything. But it was a very great, very good experience working with Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal was unbelievable. Mm. Uh, he was unbelievable on the on the set. The same in the morning when it, when we start working until later afternoon. I never see some. I, ne I never see somebody to have so much energy and to work so hard like I see Billy Crystal. Wow! So he was uh, he was all the time extremely positive. The energy here was unbelievable, and. Uh, at the same time, he was working like crazy hours. <laughs> yeah. And I, all the time, he made me, he made me, after, the, after we was finished uh, filming, he made me to, to go back there and uh, working hard because I, when I see him, how hard, hard, uh, how hard he was working. Right, yeah, no, for sure. So have you, have you reached out to him recently or no? Have you talked? Uh, we talk uh, time to time, yes. Yeah? Uh, maybe, yes, we talk sometimes. Yeah. What, what are those conversations like? Like, hey, you know, I miss filming with you, man. You know, maybe play some hoops. <laughs> what was that like? I mean. You know, small teams part of the life. We keep this uh, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. What, yeah. what you guys, um, did you guys hang out offset as well? Like, did you guys, did you ever play basketball with you? You know, shoot around or? We was from uh, from early in the morning to late afternoon on the set. So after that, I go to work out. He was uh, he was he was still working late late in the night every day. Wow, jeez, that's that's crazy. So he, he he was working a lot. So you know he was working maybe 15, 16 hours a day. Wow, jeez. So so do you feel like the movie like do the, do you feel like that was a tough um, like you know, that spotlight in the movie changed, you know, the spotlight on your NBA career as well? Like, did you feel more pressure after filming that movie or not? No, no. No. I feel, uh, I feel more people know me about, more about the movie and playing NBA and, but, uh, hey, look, I, I play basketball because I love basketball. Mm. Yeah. yeah no. I don't play basketball because uh, I want to get, uh, I got uh, highlights, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that sport, that game, because I love it. I love the competition, and I love basketball. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome, man. That's great. Yeah, yeah I don't care about anything else. I don't care about getting highlights and all this right. kind of. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, because you have um, yeah, because you have the academy, right? You run your own academy, like the Giant Basketball Academy. Yes, yes, I work with a lot of kids right now. Awesome. How's that going? I was, uh, I was blessed, man. I was blessed all the time because playing basketball, it's never better to do than playing basketball. I love it. Yeah. yeah I, know that, I was blessed to work with was Watch the Wizards and at the same time to work with uh, kids in my academy. Yeah. No, it's... And, uh, thanks, I'm blessed to be almost every day in the basketball court, uh, watch kids play and watch kids getting better, watch kids uh, improve. And yeah. kids have Kids have the best energy you can have. Yeah. So uh, this can be focused, can be organized, and can be going, man. I cannot yeah. stop. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. So, uh, hey, thanks for uh, stopping by. Have you been playing? Have you been playing some hoops since uh, quarantine a little bit? Have you been shooting around, or? Man, no, no, I'm not crazy about shooting hoops anymore. I prefer yeah. to play golf or go fishing or. Uh, yeah, Go on the pitch, but uh, playing hoops right now is not my. Uh, yeah, you know, I play so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to play anymore, but uh, at the same time, it's not that easy. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. <laughs> You're playing golf well. <laughs> but I uh, start playing golf, so uh, right now I uh, switch and I start playing more golf than uh, playing hoops. Yeah, we're gonna have to get you set up. We talked with uh, we talked with Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore. Have you seen that movie? We talked yeah. we talked to him Friday. He was like, "Oh, I'm playing some golf in quarantine, so we gotta get you. Maybe maybe us three. We could we could hit the link sometime. Me, you, and Shooter. <laughs> what are you? 
so so right now I'm in uh, the Boston area. Um, so I'm like 30 minutes north of Boston. Um, oh, you're lucky, man. You have a very nice basketball team like that in Boston. Yeah, man. Dude, we would have we would have taken you on the Celtics, man. We, I would have I would have been rocking the Mearson jersey right now. <laughs> No, you have, you have a you have a very good organization right there, and it's a very good, uh, very good uh, team. Yeah, no, it's no, it's, uh, they are not all the time at the top, but uh, most of the time, the Boston guys, you are lucky because they have very good, uh, very good management for the for the team for Boston Celtics. Yeah, no, it's you know we've been we've been lucky here in Boston, so. Uh... Very blessed, yes. Do you, do you remember playing the Celtics? Is there a favorite memory you had playing against the Celtics or the Garden or not? Yes, I remember. I love, I love town. I love, uh, you know, first time when I eat the legal seafood, I live in Boston. I eat in Boston. Ooh. I remember we, have a, we were staying in the hotel by Jamal, and all the time I love to go to eat the legal seafood. Yeah, legal seafood, right? It's good. It's good. The best, the best food. Yes. <laughs> so, are you, are you? Have you got? When was the last time you've gotten it? What's up? When was the last time you've gotten legal seafood? You got, Are you coming back to Boston, or can we? Last time, I guess, uh, was Washington D.C. Because now we have Washington D.C. legal seafood too. But that time was only Boston. Uh, uh, they have a legal seafood. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Hey, man. We'll welcome you back. We'll. Hey, legal seafood's on us, right? All right? And so well, next time you come up, I'm expecting it, all right? Thank you, man. Hey, thank you so much, George. Appreciate it, man. And uh, wish you the best. And uh, you're a legend. Thanks for taking the time. And uh, stay in touch. Good luck with your academy and golf, too. So. Thanks, man. Enjoy the summer. Have a good time. And yeah. stay safe. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man.